never sleeps. Uh, and as a result, CEOs have a constant need to be learning. So where are they learning from? Uh, the 24-7 20, element of it means that they have to be very attuned to the news, but in this day and age with fake news, they have to find trusted channels. So what I have seen is that they look for trusted sources, and that's my second T, is trust, and secure. So for example, I have clients who uh, don't want to do Skypes or telephone calls because they're too easily hackable. Uh, if, if with some of them, the secrets are, are you know, so important that we go to special rooms to actually meet. So there's a kind of issue about confidentiality in, in learning, but they have to know that people actually are expert. So they get strategy advisors from McKinsey or BCG, but they get mentors sometimes, uh, certainly coaches that they trust, and that, that is a big aspect in the beginning, is establishing a sense of, why should you trust me? Why am I credible to help you? So that has to be done quickly in this circumstance. Um, and then they, they look for news and information from their networks. So friends, colleagues, um, people that they're introduced to who are specialists in things. And the, my third T is that they are very time poor. Um, and as a result, they need a tailored approach. Another T for you there. They need a very tailored approach to their learning because they don't have a lot of extra time. So they don't go, uh, for example, on lengthy business school courses. They might go to a, a very targeted week with really senior other leaders. So they're careful about where they go to get their learning. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about briefly within my first four minutes uh, is women's learning, and in particular, women leaders, how they learn. Um, and the, there is good news and bad news. Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news first, ladies? <laughs> bad news. Very typical, very typical. So the bad news is that we are not as confident as we should be. We are all incredibly talented and have phenomenal capabilities, but the international research shows that women underestimate their skills and capabilities everywhere in the world, at every level. Even the most senior women underestimate their capabilities. Men, on the other hand, over overestimate their capabilities, according to the research gentlemen, this is not me, by approximately 30%. The, the lack of confidence in women, however, has some good side effects, because we're extremely diligent when we learn. In fact, so much so, that we're working daily, weekly, monthly, and in many countries, girls outperform boys in schools, uh, in colleges, at university. And not just in the West, but indeed, I heard 15 years ago that in engineering courses at Tehran University, women were outperforming the men, were graduating at the top of the class. So our diligence pays off. The other thing I would say about my clients who are women is that they are extremely open to learning. Women are hungry to learn, and this is a great gift. Men often, and I'm looking at this one gentleman that was sitting next to me a few uh, minutes ago, um, men are often not comfortable saying that they have a coach, saying that they're actually in need of a course or a skill. The senior men often like to present themselves as having phenomenal knowledge about everything. They see it as a sign of weakness to show that they need to learn. So this, I think, for us women is a great gift because we love learning and we're hungry for it and we're open for it. My clients who are women listen to what I say and go and do it immediately. It's very satisfying for me. So one of the things I have in my mind that I will pick up after the bell rings um, is that I'm working with a lot of CEO successor women who are moving into the senior ranks of their companies. These are big companies, and they're very male-dominated. So they're moving into a leadership culture which is dominated by men, and is very male. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, 
but it's different. And again, I'm going to reference this lovely gentleman here in the front who was sitting next to me. And when everybody was dancing, he said to me, you can tell this is a women's conference.